shaken in the power. All those are, I know God's touching Christians, but that is a sign to the unbeliever. Look this way. We have sinners coming here from all over, all over the world. And when they see the power come down, you're hard pressed to find a sinner that'll say that ain't God. Christians will bicker and fight and complain all day long. But sinners, they'll go, yep, that's gotta be God. That's gotta be God. That's gotta be God. We never have a problem with sinners, friend, ever. It's always stale, dry, religious people. So we're gonna pray. Pastor God has spoken to me about this group right here. God's gonna use you mightily. God's gonna pour out his spirit on you. Now we rarely do this, we rarely do this, friend. But something's happening. When I say expect the unexpected, this is what's gonna happen. There's gonna be times God speaks to you about something different, okay? You might be at a Burger King, and the Lord says, walk over to that table and ask those people if someone needs healing there, okay? God's gonna speak to you. And you're gonna say to yourself, well, I can't do that. And God's gonna go, exactly, you can't. But I can. And I said, go over to that table and talk to them. But Jesus, but Jesus, I'm shy. I don't have that kind of boldness. And the Lord's gonna say, you're perfect. You're perfect, because you're not gonna go in your own power. You're gonna go in my power. And I will put my words in your mouth. And you're going to lay hands on them. You're going to pray for them right there in Burger King. It could be a Kmart. It could be a Walmart. It could be a grocery store. It could be at school. God's going to start using you. And it's not going to be a high-pressure thing that you've got to go through. You're going to enjoy what God is doing. Your life is going to be an adventure. And you're going to say, Jesus, what's going to go on today? How are you going to use me today? People are going to be healed. People are going to be touched. People are going to be set free. I'm going to tell you, there's a passion. I can feel the passion in you guys. I can feel the passion. Now, there's one of you, I don't know who you are, but there's one of you, you're struggling with a particular sin. It could be lust. It could be something. Right now, before we ever pray, just deal with it. Just in your mind, I want you to consecrate your life to God and say, God, I'm not going to be like that anymore. I'm getting serious with you. I'm getting serious with you. Get the sin out right now. Get the sin out right now. I'm going to get serious with you. I'm going to get serious with you. I want to get serious with you, Jesus. Don't, 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 don't even worry about me, Jesus. You can count on me. 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 You're going to be saturated with the Spirit of God. You will be saturated with the Spirit of God. You will be saturated. Lyndon, I want you to play whatever is on your heart, brother. We're going to pray for you. You're going to be saturated, says the Lord, with my spirit, with my spirit. Holy Ghost, fire, fire. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Touch, 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 anoint.
As Lindell plays in the background, I want you to listen, everybody. Don't you try to figure out what's going on here. Don't you dare try to figure it out. And I want to tell you something about salvation and healings. It can happen in a second. You don't believe that? Ask Saul of Tarsus. Saul of Tarsus was on his way to Damascus, and the power came down and changed his life forever. Here's what we're going to do. Everyone in this place that needs to get the sin out of your life. Come on now. Everyone that needs to get the sin out. You're doing things that Jesus would never do. Sin is anything Jesus wouldn't do. You need to get the sin out. Maybe you've never known the Lord. And I'm giving everyone freedom to turn to the person next to them. And you can ask them, do you need Jesus Christ to save you? Do you need Jesus Christ to forgive you? If you need to get the sin out of your life. I want you to come and kneel at this altar right now. If you need to get the sin out, come on right now. Come on right now. Come on right now and kneel at the altar. 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 Come on. If you need forgiveness, if you're away from God, if you've never known him or you're backslidden, get down here right now. God is moving. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Move in this man's life, Jesus. Move, Lamb. Release your Move, Lamb. Move, Lamb.
Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord. Linda, we got to do Spirit of the Sovereign Lord. I want every one of you girls, the, the singers, I want you with a microphone. Get a microphone. We're going to do the Spirit of the Sovereign Lord right now. We're not finished at this altar yet. We're not finished at this altar yet. We're not finished at this altar yet. Those of you that are going to get right with God, you need to get right with God right now. If you're going to get right with God, you need to get right with God right now. The Spirit of God's in this place. The Spirit of God's in this place. He'll heal you. He'll deliver you. He'll set you free. If you're coming, Lord come now. Come now. There's still some people you're not saved. He has you're not saved. Jesus loves you. Good. He has a plan for your life. You better come. Spirit you better come. God is upon you. This is the day. Because he has anointed you to preach good news. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. He has sent you to Holy Ghost. Come on! To bind up the broken heart. Come on! This is it! To bring freedom to this is it! Day. This is it! And to release the ones. Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! Of the favor of the Lord! This is the day. I want everyone, while Linda will just play in softly, I want everyone, everyone at the altar to pray this prayer with me right now. Dear Jesus, I ask you now to forgive me, wash me, cleanse me. I have sinned. I'm sorry. I'm the one who nailed you to the tree. Forgive me, Jesus. My sins put you in on Calvary, but I ask you to forgive me. Wash me clean. Jesus, tonight... I dedicate myself to you. I give myself to you. Be my Savior. Be my Lord and my very best friend. Jesus, from this moment on, I am yours and you are mine. Come live your life through me. In your precious name, in Jesus' name, amen. Glory. Jesus is 
that wants to be filled with the Holy Ghost, lift your hand. You're not filled with the Holy Spirit, lift your hand. Want to be filled with the Holy Spirit? Oh, yes, Lord. Oh, let's lift him up now. Be filled with the Holy Ghost. 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 Be filled, be filled, be filled, be filled with the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Come I, want, Spirit of God. I want to see the hand. I want to see the hands of those that have been running from a call to the ministry. Lift your hand. You've been running from a call to the ministry. Put, be honest. Lift it up high. You, God's spoken to you, but you've been running from it. You've been avoiding it. I thought so. There's a bunch of you here. Lift your hand. Just lift it. Don't even don't be embarrassed. God's in this place. God's touching people. Just you've been running from a call to the ministry, and you're gonna answer that call. You're going to answer that call. Prayer team members, I want you to find one of these. Lift your hand high. Prayer team members, hurry. Hurry and get next to one of these people. Hurry. Prayer team members, all the way around the back. Lift your hand up high. Up in the balcony. Hurry, prayer team members. Find one of these hands that are up. Find one of these hands that are up. Hurry. Lift your hand till somebody comes next to you. Prayer team member, find that person. You've been running from a call to the ministry. Prayer team member, get next to that person. Hurry. Hurry. In the back. If you've been running from the call, make sure you don't leave this building tonight without someone from the prayer team praying for you. Now lay hands on that person, prayer team member. Jesus. I'm not going to run anymore. I'm not going to hide anymore. I'm not going to look to the left or look to the right. I'm going to follow you. Lay hands on them. Lay hands on them. Lay hands on them. Lay hands on them. Come on. Jesus is the Lamb. Yeah, yeah. Jesus yeah. is the Lamb. Now, we just, we just got word a minute ago that the youth service led out at the Coliseum, and there's about 4,000 teenagers heading this way. So, they're going to kill us, friend. What we're going to do right now, God, God has ordained this service. God has ordained this service. 
He is totally free to do what he wants. How many will let him do whatever he wants in your life? My older sister, Marcia, is a Lutheran. She came down here. She got right with God, and I was on the phone with her today. She's a very wealthy businesswoman, and she came to talk to me today. She said, Steve, I'm so excited. I'm quitting my business, and I'm going to be a missionary. I'm going, Jesus. She is letting God do whatever he wants in her life. Tonight, we're going to pray for you. We've got a large prayer team, Pastor, myself, Mike Brown. Mike, where are you at? Mike, you gotta, you gotta, uh, you're going to be ministering tomorrow? At what time? 11 o'clock. And, and your subject is griping and grumbling. What is it? Grumbling. How many have ever heard someone else grumble or complain? Well, you need to come tomorrow to hear how to deal with those other people. But friend, it doesn't get any better than Mike Brown. You need to be here tomorrow. Be here tomorrow for that service. It's open to everyone. It's open to everyone. Right now, we're going to start praying. Friend, you have freedom. You have time. If you fall out under the power, you don't have to jump up. If God's touching you, let him bless you. And it's always crowded, okay? So deal with it. It's always crowded. We've been having to do this for four, over four years, so just deal with it, okay? Whew. Oh, Jesus. He's in this place. He's in this place. Let's, let's do a celebration song. What's a good celebration song? Yeah. I asked Lyndall, I said, let's do a celebration song. Benny, you got to... Just happen to have one, two or three or four. We're going to do a celebration song. Now, do your best not to move around or nothing, friend. This is a very low-key, yeah. mellow, go-to-sleep type of song. But I want to tell you, friend, I am not, matter of fact, when I was on the phone with that Chicago guy, that reporter, he said to me, he said, you're wired. He said, you are wired up. And I said, I am so excited about what Jesus Christ is doing. Come on, let's worship God. Let's get touched. Singing 
now. Because we're happy. Everybody's dancing now. Because we're free. Oh, we could see your face, see you smile over us. I've seen angels celebrate. Bless you, Lord. 